Three shoulder stability exercises to prevent neck pain and shoulder pain. Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing very well so far. So today I would like to hop on and introduce you guys some exercises that are very easy to do to prevent neck pain and shoulder pain. From the previous video, we talked about some exercises you can do to, fo to focus on the mobility, to focus on the range of motion. But then today, the exercises are a little bit different. They are more focused on the stability perspective, which is the stability of your shoulder blades. We often refer to the powerhouse, the core region, as the, the primary core region. But then we also mention like the shoulder blade region is the secondary core because it's very important for the muscle balance of the upper quarter, which includes the neck, the shoulder, and then even the upper extremity. The stability needs to come from there. We need the stability so that we can not only carry a better posture, then we can minimize the stress that we're gonna put onto our neck, onto our shoulders. In the long run, that can prevent a lot of problems. Hence, it's very important for the stability exercises to come into play so that you have that stability, you have that muscle balance. So let's go ahead and dive into this. What we only need is two pound dumbbells, or you can just use like water bottle to substitute for that. The reason why we're starting this with very, very light weight is because most of the people don't really have those muscles being engaged. Most people don't really uh, work on those muscles on a regular basis. So we usually can start from very light weight. But then later on, we can always progress to heavier weight, that's for sure. But then let's go ahead and get started. You are gonna be standing in a half squat position. It's not a lot of squatting, half squat. And then make sure your back, your spine is entirely straight. Your head and your spine are in line. The first variation of this exercise, you just pull and lift the weight behind your back. 10 to 15 reps to three sets to start with and then remember like I said we only introduce this to very very light weight because we don't need the muscles to be strong and power or producing strength we need those muscles to have a lot of endurance so a way to progress that will be either increasing the repetitions increasing the number of the sets or you can simply slow down the motion or add in a little bit longer hold time for each repetition so that's the first variation. The second variation, you just draw a snow angel sideways. Snow angel sideways. And make sure your arms, when you reach overhead, it's gonna be along the side of your eyeballs. Along the side of your eyeballs, so your arms and your body is still in line. If you find out that your arms are a little bit lower, that means you are out of the form. You have to make sure they are along the side of your eyeballs. You put your arms by your side, already starting in line. You just reach forward and come back. Reach forward and come back. Because you start from a little higher position, so that's gonna be a little bit more challenging. And then exercise the third exercise. Your arm will start in a T, and then you just lift the arm backwards. Just going straight backwards. So, let's go ahead and review that again. Straight going back. The first one. The second one. Snow Angel. Advanced version starting sideways and then punch up. Third exercise. Arms into a T. Lift back. Like I said, to start with these exercises, you don't need very, very heavy weight because the purpose of these exercises is just to help you to build up the muscular endurance so that you can support to have better posture and prevent from building up any stress to the neck shoulder region. So definitely start with very light weight. If you want to progress that to make the exercises harder, like I said, increase the number of reps and sets, increase the holding time, or just to slow down the speed, you're gonna feel being more challenged. And like I said, to start with 10 to 15 reps for each set, and then start with two to three sets for each of this variation. 
If you have any questions in terms of your neck or shoulder condition or anything related to your body, feel free to contact us. My name is Andy Zen, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, as well as a Pilates instructor here at Core Therapy and Pilates in Austin, Texas. Feel free to give us a call at 512-215-4227, visit us at therapyandpilates.com, or email us at info at therapyandpilates.com. We look forward to hearing from you. If you feel like this content is beneficial for you, feel free to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all I got for today. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, everyone.